Traeger, and I'm going to be talking to, to you today about vitamins. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, National Center for Health Statistics, multivitamin intake is on the rise in the United States, with 50% of Americans are taking multivitamins between the years 2003 and 2006. This is because many people feel that taking multivitamin will lead to a healthier life. The claim I'm going to make today is that vitamin supplements are unnecessary for the average American. By average American, I mean an adult in good health with no special biological or medical condition. So not an athlete or a woman who's pregnant, just the average Joe. And by vitamin supplement, I mean a multivitamin tablet or tablets taken for no other purpose than general health. So to prove this claim, I have three secondary claims. First, that American vitamin needs are met through their diet. Second, that ingesting too many vitamins can be dangerous and actually negatively affect your health. And three, that they impose a needless financial burden on those who take it. So the first claim that they're met, that needs are met through diet comes from a survey done by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention that found that we are sufficiently nourished in essential nutrients like vitamins A, D, and folate, which is vitamin B. The reason we are so, um, that we have sufficient vitamins, even though everyone says our diet is bad now, that we have too much fat, too much saturated fat, is because most of the foods we eat is, are fortified with different vitamins, such as the cereal, breads, and pasta. If you ever look at the nutrition label on them, there's so many different vitamins and minerals that are at least 50 to 60% of your daily value upon the serving. And also, according to Catherine Zesky, a dietitian at the Mayo Clinic, most people, if they're eating a generally healthy diet, not a perfect diet, but a generally healthy one, do not need to take a multivitamin. Also, if you have excessive vitamins in your system, it can be dangerous. There are two types of vitamins, water-soluble ones and fat-soluble ones. There are water-soluble ones, like vitamin C. If you have too much, it'll just come out in your urine. But the fat-soluble ones, like vitamins A, D, and E, will not will store in your system. And vitamins A, D, and, a, D, and E are also present in many foods and almost all the different multivitamin tablets. An excess in vitamin A can lead to abdominal pain and vomiting. D can lead to tuberculosis and lymphoma. E, uh, excess in E can lead to impaired breathing, swelling of the tongue, and fatigue. Um, the ancient Inuits up north near the North Pole have known for years not to eat the liver of the polar bear. This is because the liver is, has an excess of vitamin A in it. And when explorers went up there exploring, they hunted a polar bear and ate the liver and died not from freezing or starvation, but because of an excess of vitamin A. The danger, and in a, a study, or sorry, a survey done from 1986 to 2004 by Iowa's Women's Health Study found that taking a vitamin not didn't increase your lifespan, but actually decreased it. It was done over 19 years when, and found that 41% of the people that were taking vitamin died in those 19 years, and 40% of the women not taking it died. Now, this seems like a very small discrepancy, but when they adjusted the numbers for those who had diabetes, high blood pressure, and were overweight, it made the gap even larger. Now, for the undue financial burden. I looked up the most popular brand of multivitamin on Amazon, and it was called a brand called Optimum. It was 15 cents per tablet, and the recommended dosage was three vitamins a day. This comes out to about $13.50 a month and $364 a year. Now, that doesn't seem like a lot, but you could actually use that money to have a healthier diet because taking vitamins is no substitute for a healthy diet and lifestyle. So, in conclusion, the reasons why that we that vitamins are unnecessary is because we get almost all of them through our food. They can be toxic at high dosages and that they have an un, undue financial burden. So this is why vitamin supplements are unnecessary for the average American.
Well, Andrew, all the organizational stuff is really solid. It's easy to follow. You've got internal signposting. There's a preview. At the end, you've got a very good summary that reminds us the argument. You finish off with the proposition again so we know exactly what we're being asked to believe the whole time that you're presenting. The secondary claims, I think uh, you provide some pretty good evidence on them. Uh, there are a couple of times and I think maybe there's a, a little bit of exaggeration I, on that second point about the potential dangers of vitamins. Your proof about the danger of vitamin A, you know, because explorers ate the liver of the polar bear. I think that's, it's an interesting point. I think we could use something else to go along with it, but uh, like I said, it's, it's an interesting point, and uh, probably people will remember that one. So I'll be skipping the polar bear liver next time I'm, it's on the menu. Uh, but I think... Uh, you know, if you had some data that reflected, for instance, people who were taking those multivitamins that you think are dangerous, or uh, if there was any research about people who are taking the other kinds of vitamins, I think that there, there might be more useful information there. But the general stuff, for instance, especially on the first point, the need for it, I thought you had excellent evidence on that particular point, and you cited it very clearly. All right. Thank you.